Hello, everyone. What's up, chat? Uh-oh. We have an alert. Free game alert! Yeah, this game's uh, free on the Epic Game Store right now for today, so you gotta, like, immediately go and get it right now. If you're watching this uh, not on the day of the live stream, then you're too late, so you gotta go get it right now if you want to get access to it. I think I played this game uh, about a year no, not a year ago, like two years ago or three years ago when it was in like a beta status or something. Um, and I don't remember anything about it. I think I played it for like 10 or 15 minutes and then and then never played it again. I think it was in like a beta or something. I don't even know if I made a video, but I don't own it on Steam, so I must. it must have been some sort of early access thing that I got. And uh, if you like Stardew Valley, then you'll probably like this game. If you like Scrap Mechanic, you'll probably like this game. Seems to be a nice combo of a few different uh, games. But this one came out about two years ago. It is a single-player game. And it is also uh, getting a sequel that will be released, I think, uh, in the next year or so. Welcome back, chat. Good to see you here. This is also made by Team17. So this is the same people who made, like, uh, uh, the Survivalists and the Escapists and stuff. That we've been seeing recently on, on the Big O channel. There we go. Oh, cool. Wait, GeForce Experience? Uh, no. Ah, oh, there we go. That's peaceful. Wow, this looks really nice. Look at this. Oh, there's a DLC to buy. The swimsuit package. That doesn't seem interesting if it's just cosmetic. Bum, bum, bum. Let's see. Full res. I can only stream at 60. Motion blur off. Bump. Oh, there's voiceovers. Nice. Cool. I think there's mods to make this multiplayer as well, so... Alright, we'll hang out for a minute or two and wait for everyone to join the stream, so that way we can, uh, play this one. I think I... Pl man, I, I played this, like, before I really had a an appreciation for, uh, like, survival games. Although this is considered to be a survivor game, because, like, you survive the apocalypse. Like, you can see off in the distance there's, like, destroyed buildings and stuff. Kind of cool, though. You're new to the channel? Well, welcome... Welcome, uh, NT Life. Very nice to have you here. Hi, chat. How y'all doing? So if you hadn't heard, this game right now is free on the Epic Game Store. You'll just have to claim it and install it. Uh, and the purpose of the game, the point of the game, is basically just to... Well, like Stardew Valley, you know. You start somewhere and you just have to rebuild your uh, family's workshop. Kind of cool. Wow, this music is swelling. Oh, there we go. There we go. That might be a little better. Yeah, it's, it's the cute apocalypse. Uh, the world died from cuteness. Disney dropped a uh, a Pixar bomb on the world and now everything's just too cute. I like it though. I like the whole the whole vibe is pretty good actually. It's nice. It's more it's more chill than chat. That's for sure. You you remember playing this last year? Okay. Yeah, it kind of it feels like a little bit like Craftopia is in here and of course, this game is before that, but... Alright, well, let's go ahead and get started. Welcome aboard, everybody. The Commerce Guild product inspections are conducted on every Saturday and Sunday. Builders with a workshop... Oh, okay. Uh, let's see. We need some good her. Oh, wait. Gender. Oh, you could be... Anybody you want. I think I'll go talk with the research center first. I think I'll go talk with the research center first. I think I'll go talk with the research. I think God, I'll go no. talk with the. Re I think I'll go talk with the research center first. Okay. Uh, now we gotta pick hair. Nah.
That's pretty close to me. Hair length. Uh, yeah. Oh, cool. You can actually... Oh, that's cool. You can actually use... All right. Wow, that's got more uh, customization than Cyberpunk already. Okay, that's pretty good. Remember the sunglasses? Absolutely, Leon. Absolutely. Uh, face type. Uh, cute, I guess? I don't know. I guess this is fine. One of these, I guess? Yeah, that's fine. Uh, okay, skin color, yeah. Oh, I'm not going into all that craziness. Oh, wow. You can actually do everything from, like, eyebrow positioning to... Alright, this is, like, Sims-level creator. Look at that. Holy... Alright, we're not going to go into that much, but, uh... I mean... Um... Is there a way to, like... Take the eyedropper and copy the same color. You know what? We're just gonna... We're just gonna call that good. Uh, what is this? A tar... Oh, it's a tattoo. Ooh. Wait, is this makeup? Oh, it's makeup. Okay. That's kind of weird. Those are... Those are some really weird, like, patterns to have. Okay. Ah, uh, yes, this is only single player. But there might be mods for multiplayer. Bom, bom. Free on the Epic Game Store right now, though. Make sure you use the code Raptori at checkout. Okay, well, this looks somewhat decent, I guess. I like this shirt. That is really cool. I love... That's a really cool alien shirt. Almost looks like uh, Among Us before Among Us. Okay, let's go with that. Oh, this is Stardew AF. Uh, let's see, Fishing Days, Day of the Bright Sun. Oh, choose your birthday. Uh, I was born on the 23rd, so... Uh, day 23, month one. Oh, yeah. I like that, by the way. A lot of games, you know, a lot of people will say, oh, this this, this game has this in common with another game. That's a ripoff. But it's like, you got to remember, so many games and are, are made by, like, gamers now where it's really hard to make a game from scratch without taking any ideas from anybody else. Like, the moment you declare, oh, I'm going to make a platformer. Oh, that's just basically Mario and, and uh, Mega Man and Castlevania. It's like, okay. Like, every game is... Like, kind of copying another game in a way. Which is kind of cool, because otherwise it'd be, like, totally new and almost unfamiliar. Yeah, I also was born in the spring, too, so that, I guess that works, so. Okay. Uh, Porti is a city-state locked on the coast of the Western Sea through uh, ocean travels connected to Vega 5, Barna Rock, Lagos, and Seagai? Oh, nice. Good cutscene. We're coming up on Porsche. Whoa! That looks beautiful! What That's called Porsche? Ruin diving? Something like that. We get someone like you once in a while. Always seeking that adventure. Good to be young. Skirt! I'm gonna pull, pull up real quick. Thanks. Okay, we're in Portland now. My time in Portland. Every time I see this t uh, title, I just see Portland. Hi. Hi, Presley. Presley, how do you do? Ah, good to see you again. Hope you had a pleasant journey from Barnarok, right? That's quite far. Yeah. Anyway, I'm here to show you to your workshop, so if you would please follow me... It's pretty close. I wonder what it's like. I didn't get to know my pa too well. 
No one's been working there since your pa left Porsche so many years ago. He was a good friend. Yeah. Uh, yes, I also could see that this has a little bit of Animal Crossing vibe to it as well. Is that a car? There's a car over there. Uh, Dash uses EP. Energy points? Oh. Oh, yeah. Okay, so like um, Breath of the Wild. Don't wander too far. I'm just experimenting, bro. Also, these characters seem like Nintendo Miis for some reason. Like big head and kind of small body. And they look real shiny. And here we are. Your workshop. Ooh. This place sure has seen some wear and tear. What do you think? Looks homely. Now then, here's a letter from your father. He asked me to present it to you when you've seen this house. Oh, uh, Raptor, when you read this letter, I'll already be on the other side of the world. I'm sorry about that. I'm sorry that I'm not the father you wanted me to be. It's all so sudden. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, figure out. Take care. Okay, yep. All right, might not look like much now, but uh, brace you from the wind and cover you from the rain. I left my workshop handbook and the details I created and things in the workshop. Uh, the rest is up to you. Do your best and live a wonderful life. You will always be my pride and joy. Ha. Uh -huh. Here's the workshop handbook of your pa's. Take your time. Come to the Porsche Commerce Guild tomorrow. It's located around Peach Plaza. Can't miss it. As much as I'd like to give you a builder license right away, you need to prove your worth for a couple of tests. Wow. AKA uh, building permits, also known as a scam. That's right. Got it. Tomorrow. Anyway, I'll leave you be. Get some rest. Bye, Presley. Thanks for your help. Yeah, tonight we're going to be playing some more Stardew Valley with Thurston, and we'll go back to our co-op game. So I'll be playing more of that, but it'll be the game we were playing earlier. This house is so worn. I need to fix it, or I won't be getting a good night's sleep. All right, mission, go to the guild. All right, well, this, yeah, okay, so this is a little bit like Stardew Valley, a little bit like Animal Crossing, a little bit like, um, feel, feels like a Nintendo game for sure. Which ain't a bad thing. Whoa. Now, of course, it's not a stream for me unless it's literally raining. Oh, mail. Uh, from Port... Is it Portia? I'm just gonna say Portia, because it just sounds... Portier? Ooh, that sounds fancy if we call it Portier. Yes, my... My time at Portier, yes. Hello, new subscriber! This is the Portia Times. We're sponsored by the city government and local commerce guild branch to bring you the latest news for free. We're a monthly publication, so papers will be sent out first day each month. If you have any questions, uh, please don't hesitate to visit our office on Main Street. Portia, Portia Times, day two, month one. Wow, we like auto slept on day one? Oh, okay. Uh, let's see. All right, we got to go to town. Dude is, dude is hustling. Oh, he's smart. He brought an umbrella. He's got one of those uh, head umbrellas. Genius. Absolutely genius. Uh, let's go to... Wow, they actually have a pretty nice city here. Apartments. Oh, here's the Commerce Guild. I didn't you mean... must be the competition. Whatever. The more the merrier. Bring it on. Bro, you want to fight right now? Looks like there's people to meet, just like in, uh... Nice to see you. How are you settling in? Uh... Um, okay. Good, good. Good, very good. Let me introduce you to the Commerce Guild. Is this anything to do with the Lollipop Guild? We're the organization that orchestrates trade across the entire Free Cities region. This is the Porsche branch. We're pretty busy throughout the year. Now then, let me give you your builder test. This is pretty easy. Make an axe and pickaxe and bring them to me. You need to have wood and stones to make these. 
You can gather them on your own or buy them from the total tools in Central Square. After you have the raw materials, you'll need to craft the items on a work table. I saw your pa's old one in your yard, so check and see if that still works. Okay, we got what we need then. Alright, why is everybody in the way? Jeez, tiny door for a big building. Yeah, fight him, I know. Uh, just two days ago you searched to see if I was playing this and now I am. Yeah, I, I swear that I played this game before and it was much, much different. I must have played it during like a... During like a um, beta period or something because I didn't have it in my Steam library. Ooh, there's booty. Oh, I didn't know there was chests in the game. Alright, now we know to look out for that. Worn gloves. Oh, wooden stone? Perfect. We'll probably need that for a pickaxe and an axe. Oh, that's nice. The gate auto opens. That's cool. Assembly station, and there's their workshop. Alright, let's see. Simple axe requires... Eight stone, five wood, and what is the other thing? A pickaxe requires five and eight and five. Okay, so we need more. Raptor loves his booty. Hey, if, if, if there's free booty, you know, that's like a sample at uh, Costco. You can't really say no to that. You're kind of like obligated by, you know, the, the life force of the world. Dude, everybody in, uh, everybody in this town wears like an umbrella hat when it rains. Kind of weird, but all right. Yeah, the uh, My Time at Sandrox is the sequel that they're working on. Hopefully that's multiplayer too, that'll be kind of cool. Uh, just like how Animal, kind of like an Animal Crossing or whatnot. The hell are these? Colorful llamas. All right, so this game's a little, a little kooky, but I love the art style of the buildings and stuff, though. Like, no complaints. It's just a little different. But so is Stardew, too. Like, that game's completely weird sometimes, too. Okay, I don't know what's valuable, so I'm just gonna grab everything. I don't know if I found enough stone or... wood, but I guess it's a good idea to just run around. Bum, 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 bum. Shrike's still an undercover mod. Yeah, I don't know what that is. But uh, as long as he has his abilities, that's fine. That's right. Our chat's pretty well behaved. It's really only times where we play like a really new game that people like to complain about or something. Don't get me wrong. I like to complain too, but... You know. The two things that are most annoying in the chat is uh, spam and spam of negativity. Like, okay, we get it. If you don't like something, that's okay. Oh, there we go. We're starting to get some good stuff now. Oh. That must mean it's a certain time. It's noon. So, apparently there was a, an apocalypse in this game. This is apparently a post-apocalyptic game, but I don't... I don't know what happened. I don't know what the apocalypse was, a meteor or something. Okay, we'll make one of those. And one of those. Alright, cool. Let's go back and talk to, uh... I already forgot the guy's name. Morris? This game looks interesting. Yeah, I mean, just basically think of Stardew Valley. Except it's, uh, third person. And... Kind of like little, little fancier graphics uh, with a little bit of Animal Crossing in it and some other stuff. Oh, there you are. Presley, that's his name. Ah! Excellent quality! Nicely done. You can keep them. I just wanted to see what you can do. Now for the second test, you are to build a stone furnace. This one's a bit tougher. You need to use the assembly station in your yard to complete this task. Hmm. If I remember correctly, your pa kept a very detailed account of the things he made. You might want to flip through his workshop handbook and see if you can find a diagram for the stone furnace. 
Once you have a diagram, hmm. just use it on the assembly station in your yard to start construction. Yeah, this world is like post-apocalyptic, so they're like rebuilding it. There, there seems to be like hints of an apocalypse around, but it seems like society's doing okay. Like we're not talking about like zombies and nuclear waste and stuff like that, but it seems to be a world where, you know, there's like a little bit of medieval to it. At least the buildings. Oh, that looks beautiful though. But you can see like everything's kind of overgrown. Boy, this really looks good. Okay, so we want to craft a stone furnace. Oh, wow. That's a really, that's amazing. Look at how nicely detailed that is, like a Sears catalog. Look at all the nice time they somebody took to like draw all that out. That's really nice. Assembly tutorial. Uh, with relevant part equipped, aim at the silhouette, the construction, press left mouse button. Uh, the assembly station console will be used uh, to view material requirements or cancel the construction. Oh, okay, so we build things in phases. Parts can be installed or recovered when standing near the silhouette. With all parts in place, press E to pick up the item. Oh, okay, so we have to build it ourselves, then we get to pick it up in our inventory and then put it wherever we want. That's kind of cool. So this takes 10 wood. Ah, I see. And we're going to need some more stone. Okay, so now we got to go find stone. But we have a pickaxe, so how do we get stone? Do we just... Anywhere? No? Steal from the neighbor's wall? Uh, yeah, there's probably multiplayer mods. This is free on Epic, and I... I'd actually wanted to play this game for a long time, but I... I didn't... I wasn't in the mood for these types of games, but... Like, this game is... It feels like Scrap Mechanic meets Stardew Valley meets... Um, maybe like a Nintendo game. It's totally fine. Whoa, what's down here? Just kind of like a coastline? Oh. Woo! Yeah, it's like the post post about well, I mean like there you can see what looks to be like a giant office building or something that looks like a bunch of trees and stuff are growing on it. Looks like we can rebuild a bridge here. Oh, if you try to go into the water the game resets you, okay. Well, I need to find more stone to build this stone furnace. I'm assuming once we build the stone furnace, we'll probably be able to go mining. And I bet you with this stone pickaxe, of course, we get iron and then smelt that, and that'll begin the whole journey. Boy, kind of a bummer that it's raining on our first day here, but maybe it's like a wedding. Maybe, maybe it's a good sign. Why can't you swim? Ah, uh, it's to prevent you from, like, bypassing the, the bridge quest that they have there. Oh, I didn't even see these stones here. Perfect. Okay, so now we know what we're looking for. Oh, it's just auto collect. Ooh, copper ore. Nice. Alright, well, that, that was good. We'll have to check around and see if those spawn at random. Is that enough? Oh, you need to have the item selected in your stone stool. Okay. So one, please. So it's not raw stone. We need stone stool. How do I go into inventory? I. Oh, 
All right, cool. Oh, we strong. Super strong. Uh-oh. Well, there's also a sword button. That's nice. I keep pressing R to, like, rotate, but it keeps putting it back in my inventory. Uh, let's put it here. But I want, I want the, like, hot part away from the house. Oh, like that, yeah. That's fine. Okay, uh, let's see. Furniture can be turned, oh, with T. Furniture can be turned when placed on the ground. And you can pick it up by swinging at it with a pickaxe. Cool. Alright, so now we go back to... That dude again. Dude dude McBro fam, I believe was his name. Ba -ba -ba. This one's an old one? This game is... This game is like a year and a half, two years old. That's like saying, oh boy. This and Legend of Zelda were my two favorite games growing up. Like, what? Hi, ma'am. Hi there. I know who you are. Oh. I'm Antoine. I was we'll kind of right. We'll seeing each other a lot. <laughs> Tee hee. Uh, can you help me? You want to fight, bro? First of all. What's RPS? I don't know what any. Let's chat though. Hello, Doctor Shu is the ideal man. Good looking, gentle, and a good doctor. People get better immediately just by looking at him. Doctor Shu is the ideal man. Oh, this is rock paper scissors. Oh, oh. Oh, get wrecked. Get wrecked. Get wrecked, nerd! Oh, destroyed. Absolutely destroyed. Plus one relationship. Alright, cool. Pick somebody's ass in uh, RPS and they like you, I guess. Did what's-his-name go home for the day? Like, what the hell? Like, the office secretary is here, but the... Oh. What do we have here? I need three bronze bars. I can't really do that yet, I guess. I haven't really finished my... I have to be a registered workshop owner? Okay. Where, where did your boss go? Aircraft model was made in the Walnut Groove. Oh, he's, he has a model plane there. That's cool. Oh, he's bailing too. Must be quitting time. All right. Wow, the boss left before he did. What a what garbage. It's gonna rain all day. Oh, we gotta see his hat. Of course. His legs are tinier. Then the cost of becoming a member. Click or tap join. Become a member today. Welcome aboard. Don't forget we got ourselves a giveaway on the Discord today for uh, the holidays, by the way. So if you're a member, make sure you jump on there and check out all the games given away. Got some uh, newer games to give away today. I just got a couple of codes for uh, some games that just came out the last couple of uh, weeks. So I am going to drop some new random games. And I see a lot of you have been winning, by the way. A lot of you guys have been claiming it and saying, I won, yeah! So that's cool. I, I like that. They're like toothpicks. Yeah. I don't... That, that dude's pants size must be like negative five. Use three wood to fix the gap. And not yet. Wait, what time is it? 2135. Okay. Well, I guess we could go to sleep. I mean, there's not really else anything to do except for go out and look for more materials. But we'll go to bed. Nap time. Oh, 
my head hurts. Ugh, I didn't sleep well at all from the breeze coming through those cracks last night. Okay, so we gotta upgrade the house a bit. Hmm. Oh, new letter. From the town hall. Hello, new builder. We'd like to remind you that the... Uh, currently has two authorized ruins for you to dive in. An abandoned ruin number one below the church of the light and the hazardous ruin of the collapsed wasteland east of town. For your own safety, all ruins are currently off limits. Well, then why would you tell me about them? Hello, new person. Here's some two, who, here's two really interesting places that you could go to find loot and more. Please don't go there. Like, um... Hmm. Okay, well, that's nice. Seems like sticks and stones randomly generate. I will definitely take that. Saves us time. Yeah, that's that's like me telling you, chat, make sure you don't smash that like button. That would that would definitely be awesome if you uh, if you did that. So make sure you don't smash it. Don't don't do it. Oh, this has a time as well. And Higgins was waiting to get in there to get that permit to build whatever he's up to. A casino or something? Where's what's his name again? Wait a minute. Mission. First builder test, second builder test. Find the diagram of a stone furnace in the assembly handbook and make one. We did. Now we just gotta turn it in? Also, what a weird desk. Like, you sit next to another person, but, like, not in an office, just, like, in the entryway? Wait, what is this? Oh, gift exchange. Guidebook. I guess we'll uh, wait a little bit. Well, the test says to, to just make it. The, the quest is complete, but I need to, like, complete the quest by turning it in. Like, just above my head over here, it says... One out of one. Oh, you need the thing with you? Yeah, but the guy's not even there to claim it. Okay. That's kind of a weird quest. That's like saying, new, new quest, build a home, and then bring it here. Alright, we'll bring it with us. Bum, 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 bum. Well, it's like when you go out for like a a big family meal and the waiters come through and there's like 45 plates of food. Hi, I'm here for the uh, delivery. Hey. Man, this guy can't even help me. Uh, this is just buying hats and stuff. Decorations. Hmm. Yeah, this game is free right now in the Epic Game Store. I, I would just suggest that you get this in Stardew Valley. Uh, that'll that'll take you the rest of the. The rest of the winter. Stardew Valley's on sale for $9 on Steam. and You can get this for free. It's going to be pretty good. Should be in your inventory. Oh, there's a skill tree tutorial. Well, that's pretty straightforward, actually. Um, stamina decrease. Oh, that seems like a good idea. We have one skill point. We'll hold on to it for a minute. Wait. 
Yeah, Epic Game Store. You can get it for, uh... For free. Okay, so these ruins are like the mines. But I don't want to go there just yet. Uh, the furnace is in our inventory. There's like a question mark here. Okay. A restaurant, okay. Well, the fact that we can walk around the town is pretty cool. And there's actually, like, things to see. It's not just, like, a boring flat town. Hi, Albert. Hello. I guess I have to talk with everybody, so... Have you ever met Gust's sister? Oh, she looks so fair. She doesn't come outside very often. I've only seen her a few times. Bye. I guess we'll have to chat with everybody, because it'll probably be a goal eventually, so let's do that. Heard about you. Name's Sanwa. Nice to meet you, Builder. I really want to travel to other cities to get some inspiration, like Vega 5, but I hate traveling over water. You're that new person. You just inherited that workshop outside of town, right? Oh, sorry. Where are my manners? I'm Sonia. Beverages here are all brewed by the brewmaster Django himself. Try them all. <sighs> all right. Well, anytime we see a new person, we'll chat with them. Uh, these people have their own scheduled work days. Yeah, but this is like the main quest, dude. And it's kind of like kind of like stopping my like doing anything uh 176 centimeters 62 kilograms why wait a minute fifty six yep yeah, makes sense makes sense um Can't see anything about how he works. Oh, finally, he's here. Good. Great job. You pass. Thank God. This is your builder license. Congratulations. <sighs> now you just need to take this license over to the mayor's office and get your workshop registered. After which, you can start taking regular commissions. Ah, uh, good. Come back and talk with me after you register. So much busy work, jeez. It, it's a bureaucracy. Take this document over there and then get it signed and then come back and then go back to the guy that you just came from and then we'll, uh, we'll cross-check that, make sure that's signed. Oh my goodness. Why, the mayor's office? Where's that? Actually, is there a map? Haha, <laughs> cool. Alright, we are here. Each plot okay, that's where we live. Nice that we're actually right outside of home. Like out out of the out of the base. Uh let's see, hair salon, main street, the clinic, abandoned ruins, church of light. Seems like we're on an island, but the map will more than likely expand. Well, especially since we'll get past the bridge. 20 from Huskers. Just a little year-end support for your channel. You've always uh, given us good content and fun times and chat. Much appreciated. Raptor Claws, sunglasses, thumbs up. Why, thank you very much for the support. That is very kind of you. Ooh, the round table. That's a good name for a restaurant. Main Street, Hair Salon, Central Plaza, the school. 
Oh, actually, Town Hall's over here. Commerce Guild, so it's right next to it. Cool. So that's the Commerce Guild, so Town Hall is... Is that building? Hmm. The Commerce... What the... The Commerce uh, building seems to be much nicer. Dude, is nobody working in this town? Does, does nobody work? No, nobody, nobody, everybody, everybody's busy, but nobody's actually at work. You have got to be kidding me, dude. Online biscuits with the 20. End of the year support. Does that mean 2021 starts soon? Soon. Soon. All right, well, we got to register with the, ma the mayor. So can I find the mayor? What's his name? Gail? People walk around. So you're telling me if I need to get my uh, brakes checked, it's not that I have to go to the Midas or the Jiffy Lube. It's uh, I got to find the dude on his, his eight-hour break at the Wendy's. People are supposed to be at work, not not be the work. I don't. All right, I'm 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 annoyed now. All right, that's the mayor though. His name is Gale, so we're looking for Gale. Now, does it show us where people are? He's at home, if I remember right. Yes, because where where do you find the mayor uh, of the city? Uh, Town Hall, right? Nope. His personal house. Oh, okay. Okay, well, I guess we'll have to find him. So it looks like the little star is where we need to go, but... But that's inside this building. He's not in there. Welcome, welcome! You must be the new builder! I'm Gail, the mayor of this town. It is truly wonderful to see young people getting involved in the telesis of our society. Just sign the paper, mayor. I'm here to register my workshop. Very well. What is the name of your workshop? is complete. Thank you. Also, we're going <laughs> to have a fireside town meeting once in a while. Uh, they'll be announced through the mail. Try to make them if you can. You don't want me being the only one there. <laughs> uh, I will cover town and world events at large, uh, the usual, you know. So you want me to... Okay, so there'll be a fireside town meeting once in a while. So I assume it won't be fireside, nor will it be at the town. It'll be placed randomly, and then everyone will be across the map wandering. Is that how it will work, Mr. Mayor? Hello. You're the new builder, I suppose. I hope you're wiser and more reasonable than the other builder in town. I think he's a fool. The book is the ladder of human progress. You need to read and think more, young one. Okay, we've got to also try to chat with everybody so we can get our relationships up. Oh, dude, a vending machine? That's cool. I didn't even see that before. Hi, Martha. Hi. You're probably the new builder everyone's talking about. I'm Martha. Nice to meet you. I run a bakery here in town. 
And you're currently at that bakery, the business that you own, working at your business? Wow. You can actually be at work. My store is my pride and joy. Besides Toby, of course. Hi, Lucy. Hi. We don't get new Ooh. people moving all the way out here too often, so nice that to meet you. That bread looks good. I'm Lucy. I'm a teacher at the Porsche School. Okay, let's go. Uh... Oh, man, there's probably a lot of people to talk to. Let's just get to the uh... mayor's office before things close. Bum, 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 bum. Uh oh. What's that guy's name? Anton? He was like hauling You're ass. Now a bona fide workshop owner. Your pa would have been so proud. Let me explain some of the processes for our trade. Here at the Porsche office, we post workshop commissions every day on the board, over there. Based on the speed and quality of the results, we make a ranking of the workshops every week listed on the wall behind me. Ah. There are other workshops in Porsche? Oh yes, adding yours, there will be five workshops in our jurisdiction. Besides the ranking list, you also have a workshop rating, which is listed on your license. The higher your rating, the higher quality the commissions you can get. But don't worry, if you have your father's work ethic, you'll be number one in no time. Once you're done with your orders, you can pick up the commission fee from Antoine if it's from the guild or the respective person who commissioned you. Builders make most of their money from doing commissions through the Commerce Guild. But some just build items and sell directly to the market. That's fairly lucrative as well. Anyway, since this is your first commission, I've kept one just for you. Playing favorites, are we? Higgins! You already took one today! There are never too many commissions! Good day! That's Runt! He's the owner of the current number one workshop! Brilliant businessman, but I don't like the way he does things. Well, I'm sorry. That was our last one today. Hey, Press! I've got a job for you. Or not. What is it, Arlo? We're looking to build a bridge to Amber Island. Oh, there we go. So the mayor finally put up the money? Well, young builder here is up for the challenge. Yeah, he figured that place could be a real tourist attraction. What with the haunted cave and all. Check your pa's workshop handbook to see if he has a bridge diagram in there. I remember he built a bunch. If it's there, use it at your assembly station. After you're done with the bridge pieces, you need to go to the designated spot and assemble the bridge. Also, and this is important, for a project as big as a bridge, you'll probably need to dive into the abandoned ruins to gather materials. We have one such ruin in Porsche. It's located at the bottom of the Temple Tower. Okay. Oh, Arlo is like seven feet tall. Wow. Arlo reminds me of like a Final Fantasy character. What's up, Patrick? Alright, build the bridge. Place the bridge head and body. Okay. Well, I think we should go mining. Hey there. First time ruin diving? Yep. Alrighty, let me explain then. All the ruins in the Alliance of Free Cities are regulated by the Civil Corps. To enter the ruins, you'll need to pay a weekly maintenance fee. Whoa. But we'll give you a 60% discount the first time. When you enter, I'll give you the jetpack and scanner. Very handy ancient relics. Mine in for resources becomes a lot easier when you have these equipped. When you come out, we'll need them back since they're very rare. This one beside me is an abandoned ruin. No monsters or robots in there, just resources and relics like power stones. Anything you find in the ruins are yours to keep. 
unless they're ancient weapons. Then we're supposed to hand them over to the cool. church for destruction. Okay, I'm done. Have fun and be safe in there. Wait, your current progress will be lost. Wait, what time is it? Oh, you know what? It's actually late. Let's go home and see what we can make so far, and then we'll come back first thing in the morning. Bomb, bomb, bomb. Yep, this is the new game that's free on Epic today. Came out uh, a couple of years ago, but... Of course, I, I, I would say that makes it better, because now that more time has passed, more updates have come out, so it's a much better game. Games are always making improvements. Oh, look at that. Raptor Incorporated. Nice. All right, let's see what we need to make the bridge. Bridge head? Uh, let's see. Wooden bridge head. Are we making a wooden bridge? Oh, wow, we can build vehicles too? Dude, we can make our own personal car in this game? Grill and a water tank. So we need hardwood planks, copper bars. So the bridge is made from copper and uh, wood. So we don't have any of these things so far. How do we get hardwood? Can we cut down any tree? Just regular wood. Mm. Oh, okay, so we need an upgraded axe. So we're going to need to definitely go get copper first so we can upgrade our axe. Cool. Very cool. You're downloading this game right now? Awesome. That's also very cool. Chat's very cool, too, so thanks again, everybody, for becoming members and whatnot. We have to unlock our giveaway for today, so if you haven't joined yet, click or tap that join button so we can uh, give away some free games to everybody in our Discord today, as well as a few extra giveaways for the members, too. So if you haven't yet, uh, if you haven't smashed that join button, make sure you do. Yeah, we'll go to the ruins first thing tomorrow. How do I, like, clean these up? Can I axe these? No. Nope. Alright, well, we'll need wood for something, so let's at least get basic wood. We might have to smelt the iron ore, maybe. Or the, uh, copper. Yeah, I love how there's, like, cars in this game. They'll drive around on the roads. That's pretty cool. Bum, 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 bum. You might have to get this one. Well, it is free on the Epic Game Store. So just fire up Epic and uh, go ahead and download. Wait, I should be able to mine this stuff, right? Nice. Oh, you can get the car too? Yeah, it looks like we can build one. That's pretty sweet. Yeah, later today we're going to go play uh, some more Stardew Valley and go back to our multiplayer game with Thurston. And we're going to go see uh, what else is new. Who is this? Oh. Oh, no. We didn't talk to this guy hey before. There. I'm Chiwa, the smallest of the Hulu brothers. There are seven of us, so uh, it'll probably take you a while to get used to it. <laughs> Wait, you're the smallest of the Hulu brothers. What? Oh, yeah. There's uh, Netflix, Hulu, Disney Plus, and the smallest of them, uh, Kibi or Quibi. I remember that. Did you know that eating mostly fish can keep a slim body? <laughs> Look at me. Okay, sir. Ba -ba -ba. Drives updated. Okay, thank you, Strike. 10 4. Yeah, we'll play that Creeper World game some other time. 
So job well done. What is this? For sale? Oh, we can make our uh, workshop even bigger. Okay, that's cool. Eventually, we can do things like farming as well. So we will be able to do everything like smelting, farming, like woodworking and all the stuff in between. Downloading now, dot, dot, dot. Okay. Also, I'll need to build a chest at some point. We're kind of getting full on our inventory. If we go into the mines, I want to make sure we got extra room for stuff. I wonder if there's a way to make a quick crafting crafting bench item. Let's see, what can we craft? Crack the sword? Oh. Well, there's no enemies in there, so we don't need that yet. Uh, practical made of wood. Oh, we can sell those for money. Oh, that's cool. Oh, there we are. Wooden storage. A chest made of wood. It has room to store items. Sell price 12. I will make at least one. All right, let's store that in the house. Yeah, there's our RPG elements. We, uh, I guess we're going to go mining, so that's a good thing. Let's update our character. Uh, stamina decreased by 25% when using the pickaxe. Let's increase that since we're about to go into the mines. We'll max that out. Let's see. And then let's put down the wooden box. Oh, it looks kind of tiny. Oh, nice. Plenty of space. Okay, let's start fixing the uh, walls and stuff. Tree wood, yes. Well, I guess that's why we went logging. Nice. All the gaps have been fixed. I'm finally going to have a good night's sleep. Well, that's good. All right, let's see. What else is there? What do the gloves do? Uh, let's see. Attack plus five, melee critical attack. Okay, we're not going to fight any enemies for a while, so we don't need those. What is this? Oh! This tells us about benefits of having like a furnished tome. That's cool. Hey, I hope you have a nice day too, Flippers. Thanks for dropping in. Oh, you can hang your license on the wall? Okay. We will do that today then, when we come back. That's a neat thing. All right, we got to go to the mines. Letter. Civil Corps. Hi, Builder. Just want to inform you that the Civil Corps of Port Portia uh, can take commissions from you when it comes to gathering materials of hazardous ruins. You can post a commission to our commission board in the Civil Corps at the north end of town. Guidelines on the board should read before posting a commission, okay? Hey, Builder, at the end of the week, we need qualified people to inspect products to coordinate this. We I will not post any regular commissions during the weekend, but feel free to turn them in. Okay. Hey, Builder, I mainly commission for you to help get settled in. I need three copper blades for my furniture. I expect nothing but macho quality, okay? Also, if you don't have one already, you'll need a grinder to create the blades. Okay. We'll accept that later once we have all the stuff we need. Well, that is one big kitty. Woo, that's a that's a big, big, big kitty. Big. Big kitty.
Alright, so now we can go into the mines. Try to get all the copper ore, then start finishing commissions. Oh boy. Bum, 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 bum. You know, we're like, this is post apocalypse. Uh, like apocalyptic world, but there's like trees and stuff growing and buildings that don't look that bad. It just looks like, you know, maybe they've just been abandoned. And yeah, we know how to mine. Hmm, relic scanner. Wow, we look like a nerd right now. Okay, it's kind of cool. We'll just need to return here. Oh, I'm I'm having some Astroneer vibes right now. Where you go down into the caves in Astroneer and then eventually get lost. Make friends with the cat and it'll come live with you? Okay. Um Is there a multiplayer in this game? Uh, no. But apparently they're working on a sequel called My Time in Sandstorm or something, something Sandstone. And that might have multiplayer. I do like the art style of the game, though. The, the in-game art style is cool, but damn, look at that. That hand-drawn stuff is gorgeous. I'd love to get a painting like that on my wall. Sandrock. There you go. My Time at, my time at Sand Sandrock. Ba da ba ba ba. Time to go to the mines. Did I get this on for free on Epic? Yeah, I did. And uh, I think I played this game before. I don't. It was much different when I played it the first time. I remember talking to characters, but none of them I remember. It must have been a beta. They had a whole different town, and it was kind of a little bit more um, empty. There wasn't as many people to talk to, but it was much more open where you could build stuff around the town. But this basically just feels like. Stardew Valley, but after like a mild apocalypse where like nobody died, but things were destroyed. <laughs> so, there you go. Bum, bum, bum. My day's good, Pug. How you doing? Welcome to the stream. All right. So what are we looking for here? So it seems like it lets us randomly down and underground, okay. What 
What the hell? So we're supposed to press F in order to open the relic scanner. Yeah, but it, it like really weird. All right, open the map and then press E to turn it. I don't want to go back to the map. Oh wait, we can just dig the ground. Cool, well I want copper though, because we need that for the bridge. Stone we really don't need. But I guess we don't have a choice, we gotta dig down. Okay. Well, let's go. Oh, there it is. Cool, the ground actually terraforms. That's neat. Well, that explains the jetpack. Oh, wait a minute. It looks like they're colored differently. Ah, oh, there we go. We'll just make this hole a lot bigger. Oh, there we go. I don't know how much we need to build that bridge, but a lot of people were requesting stuff with the copper, so... probably needs stone too so that's fine all right the mining in this is super cool so in like uh, stardew valley since you can't really like terraform you just go down levels but this you're making the levels yourself so that's cool actually doing mining that's cool legit mining my dudes you're having life is futile flashbacks? Uh oh. Level up! Bum, 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 bum. You think they're gonna have some ramen under here? Down in the old ramen mines. Bum, bum, bum. So I see little dots and stuff. That must be what we're looking for. It looks like there's one over here. Although it doesn't show us how far it is.
You know what's really nice though? At least the pickaxe can cut through rock and also, uh... Oh, there we go. Mysterious data disk. Data disk. Oh, we can go to the research center for it. Okay. Cool, so we turn in stuff at the research center for money or upgrades. That's cool. How full is our inventory? Oh, we got quite a bit of space. Good. Very good. Something up ahead of us. Old parts, data disk, power stones. Okay. Now we have uh, 24 copper. In this game, does one copper ore equal one ingot? Or is there a ratio? And there's stuff over there. Ooh, one real close. You need multiple? Okay. Well, we're also here for copper, so... Let's get a couple more relics, and then we'll just try to get more copper by... Is that a flashlight? Monument model piece 2. Ooh, it does tell you. Okay, what's the closest one? Maybe over there? Oh, that's cool. Wow, we found literally a leather sofa. Shrike, we need a trank. Okay, let's see. Oh, how do I get out of this cave now that I made? Yeah, what are they how are they gonna do research on a leather sofa? Like, oh, it seems to be leather and a sofa. Like, okay. Yeah, what else is around? Eh, everything's kinda far. What time is it? 18 four okay, by the time we get out of here, let's start heading back. Tunnel up to the surface. Okay, another level up. Yeah, I'm having like uh, Astroneer flashbacks right now. So, the leather sofa we can put in our house? I don't know. I don't know if I want one of those sofas. Look, look pretty banged up, but we'll we'll see. Oh, there it is. Okay, let's start heading back. Wait, open the map. Oh, you can just do it this way. Oh, well, let's head back. We got enough stuff to get started. Well, that's helpful, so if you get trapped or whatnot, you don't have to come back. That's nice. Bum, bum, bum. Just got the game from Epic Store. How good is it? It's been really fun so far. There's a few things that are a little kooky, but um, it's not... It doesn't make me think the game is bad. But how could you beat free? If you just downloaded it for free, then 10 out of 10 best game ever made. Especially since it doesn't have, like, uh, you know, it's an open-world little... Builder survival game where you're building shops and stuff. Wait, why is there an exclamation point here? Hi. 
the fishing rod. Hey, you're the new builder, right? I'm Chiwa. I live to fish, but a big one broke my fishing rod yesterday. Can you make me a new one? Oh, thank you, thank you. Okay, so now we gotta make a fishing rod too. Boy, we're gonna need a lot of materials for that. Let's see. Um, is that iron ore? In ore. Oh, we got a lot of stuff. Let's just head home for now. You want to start it, but you're having a good time with chat? Oh, that's all right. You can start playing after you hang out if you want. Three copper blades. All right. Wow, we got a lot of missions going on. All right. Copper bars. 20 wood is needed to make those. Damn, that's a lot of wood. Um, we only have 10, so... Alright, we'll go logging tomorrow. So, uh... That's a, that's a lot. Looks like we can make glass, too. We have sand. Okay, let's see. Wait a minute. If I if I try to start it now before we go to bed, will it be ready in the morning? Time will pass, right? Oh, wait, it's immediate? Oh, no, it's working. Okay. Ah, okay, so it'll take 20 hours to finish eight bars. Okay. So we can go out and get some wood then tomorrow when it's burned through most of that. Well, that's cool. Bum, 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 bum. All right, let's see. Maybe time for a little decoration of our stuff before I leave again. Wow, the leather sofa is actually somewhat decent. The uwu sofa. Hmm. Oh, there we go. Cool. All right, what else do I have? Ah, that's good enough for now. Let's uh, drop off the rest of this iron. I mean, uh... Bom, 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 bom. Yep, there's voice acting in this game. All right, we'll go get some... We'll get some wood today. Wow, trees grow back pretty quickly. And these are also giving us fibers because there are more bushes. Nice. Fuel this to the max. 
<clears throat> Another 10 hours then to finish those. Okay, in order to build the bridge piece, we need... We also got to go to the research center, but I want to try to do one thing at a time. Um... All oh, right, we need hardwood planks. Okay. So copper bars times six. We have eight, so we should probably go get more copper because I also need a quest for copper blades. So we'll go put some stuff back. Giving you a Stardew Valley and uh, Animal Crossing vibe? I thought the same. You are not alone in that. Wait, we only have 20 coin. I don't know if I can go back, though. But I think it's a weekly fee. So if we want to keep going in there, we have to do, like, side jobs, too. We also need to make that fishing pole. How do we make a fishing pole? Oh, we also have to return those mysterious data disks, but we'll do that if we find more stuff. Oh, looks like we've leveled up, too. Hmm. Commerce Hotshot. Increase the workshop points by one and rewards by five after completing each commission. Ooh, that sounds nice. Start with that, too. Ba ba ba. Yep, this game is free on Epic Game Store right now. Use uh, code RAPTORIA at checkout. R A P T O R I A. Okay. Back into the old. The hell? What are you guys doing here? That's my spot. Hello. Ooh. Uh, I occasionally dive here to. Oh, these guys are just randomly mining too? Okay. Well, good luck, nerds. It's a damn good spot. Ooh. Getting that money, y'all. Damn money, y'all. This is a big W. Raptor Claus has been good to us. Oh, boy. Oh, this is great. Now we're going to be able to make those blades. Nice. Did you know, I read I read an interesting statement the other day, chat, that said that humanity spent more time in the Copper Age between the discovery of how to make uh, copper and bronze weapons and tools. W humanity spent more time knowing how to make copper than the times between when we discovered steel and nuclear weapons. So the, the span between finding out how to smelt copper and uh, make that into tools and weapons was longer than the time between us finding out how to make steel and then eventually developing nuclear weapons. Crazy. Wow, this is this is great. I'm just here for the copper today. I know, isn't that some big brain statement? That's kind of crazy. You hope everyone's having a great holiday season. Oh, me too, Amber. We've had a lovely time with all of our chat this year. It's been a great year for chat. Like, it's been challenging times, but uh, it's been great to have everybody here. So been a good resource for everybody to unwind and whatnot. Uh, we have a giveaway in the Discord too, by the way, today, so for those of you who are members, keep in mind, uh, I've been dropping codes left and right for games, all sorts of games, 
And uh, I've got some uh, bigger titles to give out over the next couple of days. I knew you guys would be uh, busy for the holidays, so I didn't want to drop my biggest stuff just yet. So there'll be more stuff soon. Soon. All right, dude, this mining part is really fun. I'd say this is actually better than... St this mining here is better than Stardew Valley. But that's a 2D, 2D game, so it's hard to it's hard to compare 2D and, and this. Damn. This is awesome. We need to get a little bit more tin, but... Uh, for now, I know we just need copper. Yeah, eventually we get into farming in this game, and you can uh, build like um, a, a bigger base. Like we've we've barely done anything with the base so far. Yeah, we're we're digging ourselves a big old hole here. Now we're at 182 and nothing else. Okay. How are we planning to get back up? Oh, uh, we have uh, we have our ways. Yeah, that was a wonderful copper vein. Holy crap! Uh, the videos help you make up your mind on if you want to buy a lot of games. Oh, good. Well, this one's free, so... You know, if you like free stuff, I think your mind's already been made up. Even if this isn't your type of game, you could burn a little bit of time here. If you got nothing to do. Bum, bum, bum. You know what? I want to try to get some more, uh... I want to get stone. Okay, are there relics around? We got a lot of good stuff now. Lots of stone. We need quite a bit more though, but at least we're making good amounts here. Oh, we're out of stamina. All right, time to go home. At least for now. We will always come back. Yeah, we got to turn in some of that stuff at the research site in order to... Uh, Is that guy's name really tourist, or does it just say that he's a tourist? It shows everybody else's name, so you'd think that even if that guy was a tourist, it would just say like John or Bob or whatever. Ba 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 ba. Okay, let's get to work. Okay, we want to make more copper bars. Maybe I should make another one of those uh, smelters. Oh, we dropped all of our wood off. Okay. 
Yeah, the house is a little boring for now, but we'll get there. Oh, good. Now we have a total of... Seven. Good. Okay, we gotta go cut down some trees, I think. What happened to all of our wood? Did we use all of it? I guess we did. Wow, 195 copper. Wow. You found the uh, channel recently? That's awesome. Welcome aboard. Yeah, if you guys like the channel and like the community, don't forget to uh, like the video as well. It uh, makes YouTube happy and helps me to uh, reach more people so that way the channel can grow. Oh, here we are. Beginner's fishing pole. Looks like we need wild cocoon. Huh. I guess we'll have to find that somewhere. But we should have copper bars and wood should be easy to get. Alright, let's go cut down a tree or two while we're waiting. Bum, bum, bum. Oh, we don't even have enough stamina to pick up wood? Okay. <coughs> I guess it takes stamina just to pick that up. Bum, bum, bum. Uh, if you get stuck in the mines, you can just go to the map screen and press exit, and it'll, it'll spawn you at the exit. Which is kind of cool. Like, if you lose your way or get stuck or something, there's always a way out. Okay. Well, let's spend today looking for cocoons and cutting down more trees. Oh, and uh, keep smelting iron ore, or copper ore. Nice, another five of those. Good, a fresh new day. Ooh, a rubber fruit. Upgrade our axe shortly too. Did I get any more points to upgrade? Ah, oh, we do. Uh, we have another skill point. Uh, tree kicking and harvesting activities have six percent chance to double the loot. Sounds pretty good for now. Oh, we got honey. Yeah, we can do fighting in this game. It's going to be a little while, I think, till we see that. But look at how beautiful... The okay, see, it's a shame it's it started raining our first day. Look at how pretty that looks. That's just gorgeous. Dutch breathing intensifies. Somebody just put a windmill on top of their barn? That's awesome. That's Booster's house. Little old Booster living over there. That's Smear Koss Incorporated. Oh, look at that building. There's like a bridge coming out from it or something? Cool. See, it's it's weird it's a weird post apocalypse. It's it's like ruins of like a giant corporation or like a weird military thing or something that just went bad. And now people are just living in like towns doing woodworking. It's like we've gone in reverse time. Kind of like, uh, you know what game I haven't played that I still want to do? Uh, I'm going to play on the channel at some point is uh, Horizon Zero Dawn. I want to play that um, 
is around the time that the the new one's coming out. That'd be super cool. I see some plants up here, or uh, berries or fruits. I need to find cocoon for that fishing rod so we can get money. Really? Oh, there it goes. An apple. Well, that doesn't look like an apple tree to me, but all right. I'll take it. Horizon was an amazing game. Yeah, I uh, think I didn't play it because I don't know if I had a PlayStation 4 at the time. And then I watched someone else play it a little bit, so I don't really know much about it. I mean, I do, but I don't know what happens in the game. And that excites me. Uh oh, are these bad guys? I better stay away from these dudes. They look like some bad dudes. Wow, okay, this is beautiful over here. This is gorgeous. Too bad Pa didn't build the damn house over here. Oh, well, we're close enough. Mr. A level six Mr. Ladybug. Is that a Bug's Life reference? Can you surf in this game? That's a good question. Can you do anything on the water? What the duck are those? Huh. Yeah, this is the... the yep, we have early access to uh, Sons of the Forest right now. We're uh, trying to go find some can cannibals. Which is my favorite soup brand. Forgot to refuel that. Okay, we're good. Bum, bum, bum. All right. Oh, a talisman. What does that do? Amulet made of wood and stone, which looks pretty. Oh, okay. It's craftable, sellable item. Sell price is 13. So things don't sell for a lot, but... We could make a storage box, though. Practice sword. Oh, we need hardwood for that. We'll have to find that eventually. Yeah, all right. Let's go find... Uh... Oh, you know what? We need to build two bridge heads, don't we? So that's going to take a lot of that stuff. Alright, let's build another smelter. Just so we can do things twice as fast. Oh, we also need a grinding stone. So let's build one of those. Because I want to build that other thing so we can make blades. Uh, and that is the... Oh. Wait, what does that say? Uh, used for cutting wooden into wooden boards. We don't need that just yet. Oh, we do have a... We can make a grinder now. Because we found those old car parts, so that's sweet. So three copper bars. Oops. Need to grab those old parts then. Bah, bah. Smell you grilled cheese. Yeah, we can actually make a grill. So that'll help us to keep energy up. Oh, we actually found some food.
Well, the box is full again, so we'll have to make another box. We'll end up probably eating a lot of that food shortly. All right, our parts. Our old parts. Oh, we need two of those, okay. Bum, 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 bum. Bum, bum. Ba ba bum bum. Sweet. And we'll put that over here. Cool. All right, let's craft, uh, let's see, somebody wanted three copper blades for one of our quests. Oh, this takes power stones, interesting. So things that are powered by electricity or that are automatic are powered by power stones would seem to be batteries. Cool. Well, we got 10 of those. Man, we're gonna need to find a lot more wood. We'll have to go for a tree gathering as soon as possible. What happens in this game if you don't eat? Well, everything's based on stamina, so if, if you don't eat, you don't die. You just go to bed to uh, restore your energy. It's kind of like how it works in Stardew Valley. Alright, so refuel that. Copper blades, we need to at least make three. For that one quest. So that'll take two hours. So we still gotta go to the research center. Is there any new mail? That's old mail. Does anyone here have like uh, neglected emails that have like 300, you have like 700,000 emails? And you're just ignoring them until after the holidays. I feel the same way. I'm just gonna ignore them. Okay. So we want stone stool. Good thing we grabbed all that stone. Oh yeah, yeah. One's one's in chat. If you're uh, a little behind, but you know it. It is the holidays, so even though we just had Christmas. Uh, a lot of you are probably still chilling at home for a while. The worst is just kind of emails that, um, there's kind of like a little chit chat back and forth. You know, like it's like, uh, like if it's a work email, I don't know how to say this, but it's like, You know, it's like, oh, hey, could you do this thing? Hey, no problem. Hey, I'll take care of that 100%. And then, um, there's like a, there's like a thing where it's like, oh, hey, uh, remember that thing I said I would do no problem? There's actually a problem. It's like, what's the problem? Uh, oh, never mind. There's no problem. It's like, <laughs> it's like oh, okay. Wait, what? And you're, con you're confused. You're like, but you got everything you need, right? And they're like, oh, no, yeah, I'm good. We've all been on both sides of that. Cool, now we can do uh, twice the uh, copper. Good, very good. Still not super efficient, but I don't know if the stone furnace can s smelt uh, higher metals with a higher melt point. So maybe we can't do iron in there. Alright, let's see. Assembly station, what's next? So we've made ourselves a stone furnace grinder. Civil cutter we could probably make. Oh, that's going to take stone bricks from a stone furnace. So do we make another one? 
basic screever? Skeep screever? We need bronze pipes for that, so we gotta make bronze now. Oh, the wooden bridge body also takes bronze, so we need more tin. Wow, that's gonna take a lot of stuff. We're gonna have to go looking for tin then sometime. Oh, dude, our efficiency's starting to get up there. Okay, then what do I want? I feel like we should do a bunch of more stone furnaces, but... I also feel like the moment I build a bunch of stone furnaces, they're gonna be obsolete. And there's gonna be something else we can build that just does, like, better stuff. Oh, we have more skills. Let's go for another... Hmm. Let's go for less stamina on the axe. And go get some more wood. Because we're going to need a lot of wood when we build that bridge. And when we get these smelters working. Plus it's free XP, so that's fine. Bum, 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 bum. Yeah, this is a pretty good game. I, I see why you guys would like this. Is this plant fiber? Well, there's nothing for that. Oh, there you go. Plant fiber. Good. Very good. Good. Yeah, this game's free on Epic right now. I was actually wanting to play this one for a long time and kind of forgotten about it and then thought I'd come back to it. And Now that I've been playing Stardew Valley and Factorio, it's nice to come back to a, a game like this. Which really reminds me a lot of Craftopia, but at least this world has, like, people in it. Like Stardew. Star do, star don't. Whatever, you know. Ooh, a free snake berry and a caterpillar. Okay. Cutting down bushes seems to be a good move because they always have uh, about like six to six to ten sticks. And you cut down like two of those, that's enough for one smelter for a while. Okay, let's refuel. Twenty out of twenty. That's thirteen out of twenty. There we go. Oh, the blade should be ready, too. Alright, cool. So now we can turn that quest in. Alright. So somebody wanted blades. How do we do that quest? So if we go to mission... Um, furniture maker. Make copper blades. So we have to send this to who? We get 210 gold for that. Nice. Polly has commissioned you to make some copper blades. All right, so we got to go back to Polly. All right, so we'll do that tomorrow. Then we can also go into town and do the mysterious data disc stuff. Ask Wes Wesley Snipes about blade. Yeah, that's a good idea. <laughs> All right, we want the mysterious data discs. What is this thing? Oh, marble. Ooh. All right, that's cool. Use the recovery machine to restore. Okay, we'll take that with. Okay, so let's put these away for now. Hmm, I guess we'll take some of the food with.
so tomorrow we'll go turn in the quest for the blades. And then we'll go up to the research center. And then we'll probably come back and make sure those things are still making materials. Bum, 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 bum. If you make a chair to sit on in your house, any of the park benches to sit down, you gradually recharge stamina. It's slow. Okay, that's cool. We'll also see if we can grab some food, too. We also need to make bronze, so even though we have a ton of copper, we still need more tin, then. And I don't even remember how much tin we have, but it's it's not enough. Ooh, new mail. Uh, we have an important announcement at tonight's fireside meeting at Peach Plaza. Try to make it at six, 1900 sharp. Uh-oh. They mu Somebody must be announcing that they are going to become a member or something. I hope I hope they do. I wish I had a fishing pole. I'm tempted to see if I can uh, to go into the fountain. Yep, this is the. Uh, yep, you guys are right. This is the the Sons of the Forest beta. <laughs> All right, let's see. Should go into the town hall now. Talk to uh, Pierre Escargo. What? Anton, where is he? Anton is so inefficient with his movements. Like his, it's like he's walking on ice. Alright, well I'll sit and wait for, uh, what's his name then? Alright, well waiting sucks. Bum, 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 bum. We'll go find him then. We'll go find him on the streets. It's just amazing to me, nobody ever actually goes to their place of employment. Wait, what is this? Oh, they're just lights. There are four lights. By the way, fun fact, if, if you didn't know, there are four lights. There's a question mark here, but why? get to know some of the people living in this town for your own benefit. I knew it. I've made a list of the store owners within the city walls. You should go introduce yourself. All right, so we got to chat with everybody. So that's going to be a quest that's going to take a little bit of time. What is this? A and G construction. Oh. He's not in here, is he? Damn it. Oh, it's Sunday. Everybody's going to the uh going to the church. Why does it say surviving the apocalypse? Uh because that's what we did. There was an apocalypse and we survived it. Now we're rebuilding in a uh, post-apocalyptic world. Bum, bum. Let's go see who's at church right now. Pinto Bless. Pinto Bless. New member, welcome. Kelly Giles has become a little raptor. Thank you very much for that top level of support. Nice to have you. If you need tools or weapons, you can come to my shop. Ooh. It's got the best selection around these parts. All right, Mars might have now, some upgraded you tools. Look like a nice kid, so I'm going to give you these for free as Ooh. a leg up. Don't tell my wife though. Oh, nice. Stone brick, tin ore, and copper ore. Okay, I don't mind that. All right, we're in the Pinto Bless right now. Hmm. Dolly, Polly, Molly, and you have a wife. Oh, you here? You are. Hey, I need to talk to you. Uh, 
Wait, how do I turn in this quest? Probably have to track it. Uh, let's see. The furniture maker. Furniture maker, make copper blades three out of three. Polly has commissioned you to make some copper blades. You'll need to assemble. Oh, it's Polly. Never mind, not Presley. Oops, my bad. Step aside, Lee. All right, listen. I want all of you to come by my house and visit me because it is way too hard to find you people at your damn places of employment. All right. Okay then. I right, thank you, Lee. Good day, builder. Oh dear. A data disk. You know what this is? Of course, this is what the ancients used to store information on their technologies back in the Age of Corruption. It is highly dangerous because there's a chance this little item here could contain the blueprint for Armageddon. You mean Armageddon on DVD with Bruce Willis? That was a good movie, Lee. You, you don't like good movies? Is that your problem? It can't be that bad, right? <laughs> You're what? 18? 19? The Age of Darkness is probably just another fairy tale story to you, right? When I was young, my great grandma shared her first hand account of the time before Peach, the time when folks lived in ruins underground. She went days without food, everybody fought each other for the most basic of things. A little more backstory. Old if they managed to live to 30, and it was always, always dark. Imagine that, because that's what the end of the world looked like. That situation was created by the very same sort of dark technologies stored inside this little disk. Anyhow, I'm not trying to scare you, but it's the reality of your builder business. Dangerous technologies are spread all over the world, waiting to be stumbled upon and rediscovered. Places like the Research Center and cities like Vega 5 expedite their recovery. Calamity will strike again. Mark my words. So, it's a priority of the church to seek out and destroy all the data disks and other dangerous relics. With help from ruin divers such as yourself, of course. I see. Hi, Booster. So I can give this to you. Yes, yes, that's right. The church will reward you handsomely for Oh. Reference. We have in our possessions a vast amount of green technology learned through the ages. Wait a minute, I know that look. The church isn't against the use of good technology that can bring telesis to our society. We're only against dangerous technology. So I think we have a chance to either bring CDs to the church to get certain green upgrades or to bring CDs to the research center and get like more advanced upgrades so what we can choose. What kind of green technology? Mostly special seeds. You'll see. Ah. We can share what we have with you as you bring us more discs. You do know how to plant crops, right? Oh dear. You should ask your neighbor Emily about how to farm. Okay, great. Here, I'll take the disc and give you some seeds to get you started. When you discover more discs, bring them to us and we'll give you more seeds. You'll be doing this world a great service. Okay, so we can trade discs for seeds. Okay, that's cool. All right, we'll come back and chat with everybody else later. I don't want to... Oh, there's donations. Ooh. Dried apple slices. Cool. Yeah, basically, I'm, I'm the poor one in town. Everybody else has, like, a house. I just live in, like, a shed. Mm, yeah, Oxygen Not Included. That's a good game. Yeah, if you have any suggestions, make sure you jump on the Discord, too, and leave me a suggestion there. Otherwise, I forget after the stream, but good opportunity for everyone to jump on Discord and come say hi. Not to mention, because I have a giveaway pretty much every day till the end of the year. I'm like the Epic Game Store, just on Discord, dropping, dropping as How many keys as I can. How do I join the I Discord? Can. Check down below in the description. That's right. Thank you, Dinosaur. All right, let's go to the research center. Where's that? Is there a way to mark stuff on the map? Oh, there is. Okay. The research center is there. Blue marker. Opposite side of town. 
And then we need to find Polly. Dude, this town, this is really nice. They've, they've really made a beautiful town here. <clears throat> Looks like you can drive a car around the town too, so when you get to a certain point, you can actually like transport stuff around. The research center was destroyed by the T-Rex. No, that was the visitor center. Oh, dude, this is nice, dude. Wow, this is... Okay, I can see why people love this game so much. It's really gorgeous. Beef Brother. Okay. Wait, are you who I'm looking for? Oh, yeah. What's up, Polly? Welcome, smallish builder. I sell furniture here in my store. So if you have any need for manly decors, you know where to find me. And since I'm so manly, I'm going to give you this to get you started. Ooh, talking to people gets us free Grabbing stuff. Quality. Expecting nothing less from you, smallest builder. Oh, that's good. We need some hardwood for... Oh, whoa, whoa. Oh, good. And we finished that job, too. Nice. Nice. Dude, I love this game already. Research center is up there, I guess. That tower, maybe? Bada bum bum bum. Uh, research center exchange. Ah, advanced engines, silicon chips, chipsets, weapon racks, condensed stone powder. Ah, okay. This has got some pretty advanced technology. was in here a moment ago they all left oh there you are hello I'm busy go ask Petra I need to talk to Petra uh. Ooh, old talker or a mount monument model oh we actually have some of this parts We have one of one, six of two. Oh, okay, yeah. So if we get the uh, talker pieces, then we can put all this stuff together. Okay, that's cool. So they're like bundles from the community center. You just need all the parts to put it together to get a bonus. Well, I don't know where she went. Or he, I don't know who that is yet. Pillars of Eternity? Uh, I don't think I've played that before. Oh, bro, you selling fish? Fisherama. Hey, I'm Toddy. You're the new builder, right? It's always nice to have more builders. Yes, my name is Bob. Yes, we can. Oh, that looked like somebody that walking Starlight around. That Starlight Island you see out there on the horizon is a great place to fish. Can we actually go out in boats, chat? Can we go around and uh, and ride on like boats and go fishing and stuff? Okay, Martha, Remington, we need Petra. She marked on the map. Oh, we gotta go that. We gotta go to that meet and greet. Actually, let, let's go there first. Maybe everyone will be there. Yeah, maybe Bob Vila's in the town. Oh, there's Django. Did you just move here? Never seen you before. Did you stop stabbing me, sir? That's really rude. Django is the best teacher ever. Oh, a new builder. Always nice to see young folks moving in. If you need refreshments, I'm your man. Try this. It's on me this time. Ooh. Got that, that dank juice. Mmm. 
You can just taste the sugar and preservatives. Yeah, Django wants to fight, I guess. He's probably somebody to teach us how to do sparring for combat later in the game. Which it does have. Okay, we gotta be here at... Albert is hauling ass. It looks like everyone's gathering here for 1900. Bum, 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 bum. Actually, is that on our quests? Meet and greet. Uh, we need to talk to doctors. Is it Zoo? Dr. Zoo? Carol, Sophie, and Albert we need to talk to. Oh, here's Albert. Welcome! If you're in need of a house or workshop upgrades, this is the place to be. All you need to do is select a plan from the catalog book in our company. Oh. So he's part owner of A&G, maybe? Well, thanks for the free materials, bro. See more people coming in. Uh, what was the other ones? The Doc, Sophie, and Carol. Keep an eye out for them. Good evening, everyone. We've been having lots of pandat sightings recently. I know they're cute, but still, don't go near them. They're dangerous. Pan bats. I've asked the Civil Corps to try something to scare them off, but I'm not holding up much hope. Pan bat makes me think. Of, do you guys remember personal pan pizzas? Oh man, those were good. Ones in chat, if you remember the personal pan pizzas. We all know what a pan bat infestation's like. Sometimes I wish we had a tank. In other news, we've decided to proceed with the building of a bridge to Amber Island. A builder has already been picked for this project. Also, we are in preparations for the construction of the DD transportation system. A what now? Securing the funding over the coming weeks and pick a builder soon. Any donations are welcome. DD transportation system. What? How come I didn't hear about the bridge? When was this? Oh, now I finally get to fish there. He's asking for money again. Finally, we have a new builder in town this week who lives in the old workshop outside the city gate. Let's all give a warm welcome. What the heck? Let's all give a warm welcome. Hey, okay, good meeting, people. All right, we still need to meet a few more people. But we'll do that tomorrow. Yes, thank you. Yes, of course. Thank you, chat. Okay, we need to still build that bridge. We need tin, so we got to go back into the mines a few times. But we also need to... Also, have we been getting cash from these jobs? Yeah, we're at 230 now, so that's cool. So the only other thing we need to do is... Chat with Petra. Oh, it shows what she looks like. Good. Uh, so Petra, Petra... Build the fishing rod, which requires us to get um, Cocoon at random, and then Sophie and Carol are in the dock. Luckily, the doctor literally has a business called, like, whatever. Like, after his name. Dr. Sh I think it's Dr. Shu? Maybe? Yes, st uh, strict three-clap only policy. I guess they don't want you to be too confident. I think the Danish are kind of like that. Or you're not supposed to be too proud of your accomplishments or something. I don't know. Okay, we should probably keep some of our bronze, uh, copper for bronze. So let, Actually, let's just make bronze. 
We got tin. Oh, we actually have a ton of tin. 66. I didn't realize that. All right. Well, let's make a ton of bronze bars now, too. And then we're going to need to make bronze pipes. So I'm assuming it's like probably like two ingots to make a pipe or whatever. The, gr the game is a little grindy, but fun. Yeah, I can definitely see that. But this isn't the type of grind that's like annoying. It it's like Stardew Valley, where it's like you kind of just got to pick and choose the thing that you do for that day. So it's like, oh, I'm low on bronze, so I better go, like, mining. So then you go to the mines and spend a day mining, and then you're good. It also makes me think a little bit of Samutail, too. You guys remember when we played Samutail? It was like the, the samurai survival game where you build, like, a samurai base and recruit other people to, like, join you and stuff. It kind of reminds me of that. But this game is free right now on Epic, so you may as well pick it up if you haven't played it already. That's called the Lav's Jant we have in Denmark. Jante? Jante? Is that a real thing? Just what I understand from my Danish friends is it's just like... They, they just don't like gloating, that's all. Which is kind of a good thing, like you're, you should always give people positive reinforcement, but uh, you should try to be happy in life, but never be satisfied, you know? Because when you're satisfied, you'll get lazy, so like if you're, uh, if you're a very good cook, and you think to yourself, ah, good enough, then you'll never stop uh, evolving. You want to keep on evolving. Okay, we need to find those wild cocoons. But that's going to be random, I guess, when we go kick some trees. Well, we have a little... Ah, uh, now it's midnight. Ah, uh, let's just go to bed. We'll go see if we can find Petra tomorrow and keep those tasks up. We've got to wait for those smelters to work anyway. So we'll process materials and go chat with people. Oh, this is free on the Game Pass, too. Very nice. Well, you may as well get it on, like, uh, you know, if you have a... On Xbox, you can get it there and then get it on PC via Epic, too, so you have it in two spots. Ooh, yeah, ooh. Bronze takes a real long time to work. We definitely want to keep on smelting this stuff. I think we'll wait for copper to come to an end, and then I'll start smelting more bronze. Okay. Not a real law, but... Uh, it says you're not better than anyone else no matter what you own. I mean, that's a really good law. Because you could lose all that stuff in an instant. Including your life, too. Due to sickness or disease. Uh, that's a good thing. I think that's a good thing. Try to be more humble. Uh, I'm Dawa, the keeper of Port... The I'm just going to say Portia. Port Portier? Portier Tree Farm. Oh, good. Last storm... Uh, blew down some of the fencing. We're closed until it's fixed. We, I need you to help me as soon as possible. We need five wooden boards. Thank you. Oh, good. I'll take that. Pick up time, 18 of month one. Wait, what time is it? It is... Wait, how do I know what day it is? Oh, that's plenty of time. What is this day? Uh, abandoned ruins is about to expire. Oh, that's the end of our mining contract. Hi there, uh, Harry. Welcome back. Good to see you here. Okay, let's accept that. And then Town Hall. Annual fishing day is happening this Friday and Saturday. If you're interested, bring your patience and a fishing rod. Oh, okay. So we're going to have to get that ready, too. Oh, my goodness. There's a lot to do. All right, let's build a... We're going to build something. I think we'll go for the... We're going to build that sawmill. We need to make a... Is it just one? We're going to build that sawmill now. Yeah, we need the civil cutter. So that's two blades, five st brick. Okay. So let's make two blades. 
Okay. And then what else do we have on us? Stone bricks time five. So we have two of those. I'm going to build another storage box out here, I think. What's up, Pix? How you doing? Welcome back. All right, let's go with wooden storage. We'll store stuff out here, too. Oh, I wish I wish I could have put it there. Oh, well. I should be able to make stone bricks, right? All right, we'll put... From now on, I'm going to put all the materials out here. Everything else seems like food. Artifacts I can keep inside. We'll keep the CDs on us. Uh, what is this crap? Uh, it's a game that's a little better than your attitude. Hmm. I don't know what we'll use sap for. Ooh, juice. Bum, bum, bum. Okay, so the gloves. Yeah, I don't think I need them at the moment. I think we'll just keep food inside. Oh, plant fiber, yeah. Probably bring that with. <coughs> Ooh, if we use a caterpillar on fishing day, that could give us a big bonus. Oh boy. We could win the big old fishing competition. Fishing competition. Okay, so... Let's drop off all this stuff. Oh, what are these? Cotton seeds? Uh, season, spring, summer, and autumn. We'll have to talk to Emily about that. I'll leave that outside. Well, luckily we have plenty of space. There must be a way to make a backpack or something. Okay, we'll wait on that stuff. All right, fixing the fence. Deliver wooden boards. We're working on that. I guess we could talk to Petra at any time. If we're going to do wooden boards, how are we doing on wood? Yeah, this has a lot of busy work to it, just like how, uh, just just how you, like how you do in uh, in um, Stardew Valley, which is really nice. Let's go kick trees. I need to see if I can make that fishing pole. We actually need to make two: one for the festival and one to repair that other guy's. need to get a cocoon. Oh, there we go. Finally. Oh, do I have more upgrades? Nope. No skill points yet. Alright, we finally got our first cocoon. Honeybees wax. Okay. Yeah, we need to get four of those cocoon. Bum, 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 bum. Yeah, um, this is free on the Epic Game Store right now, so you should be able to uh, download it if you'd like to. New subscriber shout out. Ward, thanks for seven. Woo. Ah, the tree will give no more today. Okay. Looks like we can kick a tree quite a few times until it doesn't let us. Well, that's cool. Is this an MMORPG? Well, it is an RPG, but not uh, not multiplayer. Oh, royal honey, nice. Damn, these trees are giving like crazy. Subscriber 
Ah, yes. Welcome to all the new subs. People must be excited to uh, be eligible for today's giveaway in the Discord, I would assume. You can't wait for the second game? Yeah, it'll be cool to see what else they come up with. Oh, we got a skill point, too. All right, well, let's go make ourselves a couple of fishing poles. We'll make one for ourselves and one for that other side quest, so then we can get a bunch of uh, extra stuff from that. Heck yeah, I'm going to pick up free stone. All right, we have a new skill point to spend. Let's go for... Um, increase workshop points by 3 and rewards by 15% after completing each commission. Let's go for that. Give me them rewards. Feagle, thanks for becoming a raptor egg. Welcome aboard. Don't forget that you, uh, if you join the Discord today, you have a chance to win our giveaway if we hit our goal. We're pretty close. We're getting there. Chad has almost gotten enough. Ooh, Emily, I need to talk to you. Come here, Emily. Don't you run. Sunny farmer girl, Sophie's granddaughter. Wait, I need to... Ma'am. Okay. They say you make the most progress in the spring. I gotta work hard and make more healthy food than last year. I gotta... Okay, bye, ma'am. She looks familiar. Okay, um, so fishing pole time. Yeah, now I'm Winnie the Pooh. We should be able to make two of these. Good. Okay, so now I have one for me, and we got to give one to what was his name? Uwu. The fishing rod. Uh, Kiwa. Okay, where is he? New subscriber shout oh, there he is. He's in the central plaza. New subscriber shout out. Can you make a? Can you take a wife in this game? I don't know. Yeah, Kinoa. He's li literally named after the uh, grain, I guess. Dude, can we bike around town? That'd be cool if we could make a bike too. Like, sometimes the distance short enough to where you don't really need a car. We also need to talk to Petra now that we're here. Do I have my CDs on me? Yep. Good. Oh, dude, somebody's riding a freaking horse. Where did he go? Oh, there he is. Here's your fishing pole, bruh. New subscriber shoutout. This is one wicked looking rod. Bait's a bunch, mate. Here, I have some extra bait. Maybe you'll enjoy fishing as much as me. Oh, good. Bunch of cal caterpillars. Now we can win that competition. Alright, let's see if what's her name's home. Time for some fish emotes and chat. That's right, we're going to win the big old fishing competition. Oh, there you are. What do we have here? Oh, a data disk. A data disk. You know what it is? It's a disk full of data, dummy. You want to know? This is actually related to how you can discover new diagrams for your workshop handbook. We rely on relic components from the past to build a lot of our current constructs. Many relics in this world are beyond our current understanding, and you won't be able to build them. Not even in a hundred years. Why do they call it? Disc comes in. Why do they call it a handbook? It's it's not like you could have a book anywhere else, right? Like it's not like they have an elbow book or a neck book or a, like a face book or anything, right? These data disks are located all around the world. They hold lots of useful information on the old relics. If you find any, give them to us, and we'll help you research into these relics. The research effort will produce the diagrams that you need to build them. Yeah, I think these are just what we're digging up is old school AOL free trial CDs. We're not miracle workers, so don't expect us to come up with things from scratch, but we do know a thing or two about how the components should fit together. Anyway, just remember that if you find any data disks, bring them to me, okay? Mm, what did you bring me this time? Ah, oh, this must be a piece of a relic. You can use our recovery machine in the research center to restore it to its original shape. It'll take data disks, but it should be pretty fast. Have fun. Cool. Alright, we're knocking out tasks left and right. Um, 
Uh, ma'am, could you step aside? Yeah, I'm sciencing here right now. Thank you. Uh, all the pieces are needed for recovery. Can I just drop stuff off while we're here? Oh, okay. So you have to have a full complete set before it'll take anything. Well, if we gather enough CDs, we should have enough to have uh, at least 600 billion hours of internet time. And we'll never have to actually pay for it. Oh, I thought bank robbery was taking place. Horses running loose in the town. What the hell? Someone didn't know how to tie up their horse. Dude, this, this town is amazing. Like, this is a really good looking like city with a lot of good detail. There's like banners and posters up. I will admit the voice acting is a little... I'll give the voice acting quality wise like a... 7 or 8 out of 10, but the fact that it's voice acted is nice, so that way you don't have to read everything. It actually... It's nice to hear different character voices, because then you can separate the people based on their voice and their appearance, and it makes everybody really unique. AOL, what is that? Well, kids, uh, before... You know how you get the internet now? Uh, by asking mom for the Wi-Fi password? Well, these CDs were like Wi-Fi passwords for adults and you'd put them in and uh, a company called America Online would give you a free Wi-Fi password for uh, for a while like a hundred hours or so a hundred hours of free internet to test it out at the time when the internet was new eventually they became things called coasters and uh, frisbees you see there used to be this thing called the outdoors where you could go and uh, like a, it was like a zoom call but in real life and you could uh, throw objects back and forth in a game of skill to try to catch them while you were basically mostly just chatting with friends. It wasn't really a, a difficult game. It was just kind of like Hacky Sack, uh, which was this game that you would use your feet to hit a bag back and forth. Very complicated. Ancient ritual. Very long ago. All right, we're going to need to get stone bricks, but we do have the copper blades. What else does this need? Copper blades times two. Oh, I have to select it. I wish this game would uh, do it automatically, but maybe it's just so that way you don't accidentally turn in a quest item here. So all we need now is just the five stone bricks. How do I make stone bricks? Oh, we can make a bronze. Oh, we can make bronze pickaxes now. Oh, I need an upgrade kick too. We must have to talk to that one guy that we met. But I'm in no rush for that yet. Hmm. Oh, we can make some talismans now and sell them, but I don't think we need that just yet. You can smelt rocks in your forge. Oh, okay. Well, let's build another forge then. We got plenty of, uh... Plenty of stone. Stone, I think. Uh, where's the... Ah, oh, there it is. Oh, then I'll have to change this recipe. Let's retrieve the copper blades. We'll change the recipe to... Oh, you just do it that way. That's neat. Okay, we'll go back to build another stone furnace. So I guess, in retrospect, we're going to need a lot of stone furnaces. I was kind of afraid of building too many of them because um, I didn't know how effective they would be or whatnot. So it seems like you're going to want to build a few of those to process multiple materials. And you're also going to need a lot of wood in order to fuel those ten at a time. Bow, 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 bow. Turia, thank you very much for becoming a Raptor Egg. Welcome aboard. Let's get some hashtags too, by the way, for all of our new members. And uh, let's get some ramen packets for everyone we may have missed. They must be hungry. Alright, so we're doing bronze, copper, and now stone. Ah, stone bricks. There you go. Well, thank you, chat. That was helpful. Chat is best. 
All right, so we'll go full load of bricks, full load of copper, full load of bronze. Bum, 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 bum. Okay. So that'll allow us to do that, and that'll allow me to make the fence. So I think we should probably go get more wood. We also need to go back into the mines, too, but I've mined so much copper the first couple of days. We, Of course, we'll never have, well, you'll never have enough metals because you'll always be using it, but luckily we got a lot that first time. And I think our thing expires the day after tomorrow. Bum, 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 bum. Ooh, snakeberry. Yeah, it seems like for the smelters, you probably want to have two working on the more rare items. Like, uh, well, not rare, but like bronze just takes longer to make, so it might be a good idea to do two of those. But it all takes time. And it all depends on whatever quests you take and what you feel like doing. This is definitely a game where you can build a huge base and min-max, but it's also a game where you can just chill out and be like, I'm gonna go fishing. I wonder what the fishing minigame is like. We'll have to find out, what, next, next week? No, this weekend, Friday, Saturday. The big old fishing competition. I don't want to bother the llama. Can you kill your competitors? Ah, uh, yes, with our killer savings available today by clicking and tapping that join button. That's right. Don't wander around in an endless sea of subscription services any longer when all the entertainment you need is right here. Click or tap join today and don't forget to smash that like button before we hit 400... 400 big old likes. Chat will never be able to do it. Impossible. No way. Bum, 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 bum. Can we jump the fence? Oh, we can. Cool. All right. Um, bricks. Okay. We need all that wood for fueling. Looks like we need marble planks, too. I'm assuming that's probably made from the cutter. Oh, yeah. Cut with a si civil cutter so marble can be cut. Cool. That's neat. Bum, 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 bum. Wow. Wow. Am I starting a new game? Yeah, this is my first time playing. And I've been enjoying the uh, game so far quite a bit. Okay, let's go organize this stuff. And give them all their fuel back. We also found a lot of sand, so we could start making glass, too, if we need to. I guess maybe we should make some more of these stone furnaces, because I really don't know what we'll need. Actually, we need more wood no matter what. We're down to 123. And we're going to still need more. We got 56... Is this tin? Or is that stone? Plus 78, so we can make more bronze. Okay. Well, I think we should make some more furnaces. Turns out we're going to need quite a few of those. So let's make two more of those.
Alright, I really like the building idea in this game. The catalog and stuff is genius. It's really cool. And the fact that it shows you right there, like, what everything is needed in an, a stylish way is really cool. Like, it's like, here's what you need, here's how to get it, here's what it makes, and here's what it does when you make it. Like, that's really... That's a really clean way to do all the information in a very... It's really easy. It's really good. Okay, let's do... Uh, I guess we'll do a couple here. Yeah, this game is really nice. Uh, I think we're gonna end up playing more of this one. So if you if you guys are liking this and want me to like keep on streaming it, make sure you smash like. Kind of a way to vote to see more. And I definitely want to do more of this. Looks like we make charcoal too. Let's make charcoal as well. That seems to be all the stuff we can make at the moment. So glass, stone brick, copper, bronze, and charcoal. So five is a good start. Looks like we should make some more copper. And oh, no, we'll, we'll convert this one to bronze. We'll make a little bit more bronze, and then we'll convert it over. We'll probably end up making stone bricks or something. New member, welcome. I feel like we should make another one just for stone bricks. Bum, bum. Ah, Rose, thank you very much for becoming a Raptor Hatchling. Welcome aboard. Yeah, the way this game plays out is really clean. Like, it's... Some things are clunky, like the the peep, like the social interactions and stuff at the start was a little weird, but we got through it. And now it's like, now I don't even care. Now I'm just like enjoying building stuff. Very satisfying to put stuff together. Like I like I like this too. Like you're not just you're not crafting a st a structure or something. You're you're actually like you're actually. Uh, putting the pieces to it together. That's really fun. Well, let's do more bricks. Yeah, hashtag Rose and chat. Show some love now. Alright, so we got two stone bricks going, two bronze, glass, and charcoal for when we need, and then we'll need a lot more... We're gonna need a lot more wood tomorrow. <coughs> so let's see. Well, let's drop these off. Yeah, we're gonna we're just gonna need wood like crazy. Yep, we're gonna need a ton of wood. Is this game easy to play? Um, it's satisfying. I'd, I I wouldn't say that this would be a difficult game. It would just be if you mess something up or miss something, you can either always reload or um, it just becomes more time consuming. Like, you know, in, in um. In Stardew Valley, you have 28 days to plant stuff per season, and if you miss it, then you just get it next year. It's not a big deal. And there's always mods and stuff. I'm sure this game has mods, too. Okay, we'll hold on to the CDs. I don't know what that tree sap's going to do. An essential part of crafting. Oh, okay. So we'll need it for later. We'll store it in here. Uh, any more XP? Nope. Alright, well, let's go to bed, and uh, we're going to have to start cutting down trees. Are these new sunglasses? No, no. The same old every day. Well, if this game were multiplayer, that'd be nice. I, I hope the next game is. It's always fun to, like, do a co-op two-player where, like, one person's gathering all the materials and the other one is, uh... Which town is the friendliest, Stardew or Port... Ooh, good question. I guess these... Mm, I don't know. Like, every town has its grumps and stuff. It'd be, it'd be hard for me to choose where I wanted to live. It looks like we can... So now that we're making bronze, it looks like we'll be able to upgrade our axes pretty soon, but we have to get an upgrade kit. Do we get an upgrade kit from um, 
from the uh, one guy in town who offered to uh, upgrade our stuff. What was his name? Let's see, that guy's name was Social... I don't... I don't think it was Albert, it was, uh... Who was that in town? Oh, there's a few people we haven't met yet. Higgins is our nemesis, apparently we can just fight him. He's just angry to begin with. Oh, wow, look at all the people we haven't met. There mu there's mo way more to this island, too, by the way. Like, we, we're building a bridge to go explore more of the uh, city. There's, like, WoW Industries up here. We haven't even seen half this game. Sewage plant ruins. Yeah, there's there's way more. There's, like, a whole southern section to the map. His name is Mars? Okay. That makes sense. Uh, you have to make the item at your workbench. Uh, which item is that? Oh, the llamas are sleeping. If we can do a tree farm, somebody did say that... Like, for example, that the tree farm needs a new fence, so maybe they'll give us wood once we're done with that. Shot by the stars at the school? Okay. Well, if we upgrade our axe, that's great, but what we really need is upgraded trees. So if we happen to help out the tree farm, maybe they'll give us a way to grow our own trees or something. Getting materials from the base would be a lot better than not. Bum, 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 bum. Yeah, you have to buy the work kits from Mars. Okay. Well, it's good that he'll do the upgrades for us by giving us a giving us a kit so we can bring it home. He'll help us out. All right, well this is good news. We're back up to 114, probably 130 now. 125, okay. Oh, got a new letter. From Petra. I'm always looking out, uh, let's see, important to research center, but they'll still tell you from the old world. If you find something, tell me. Well, we already visited you. Uh, let's see. Oh, wow, look at the charcoal. Well, that's good. Should be able to finish the saw, right? I think so. All right, let's build the saw now. Okay. Blades and bricks. Yay! Awesome. Put our cutting station maybe over here. Oh, we can't put it directly next to it. All right. We'll put it here then. And we can always move it. Okay, so now, in order to make a hardwood plank, we need five hardwood. Wow. Current quest is to... Deliver five wooden boards. Oh, we need power stones. Seven hours? Alright, well. At least it's automated. Keep everything refueled, too. Yes, happy holidays and Merry Christmas to everyone in chat. If uh, we missed you the last couple of days, I hope things were uh, going good. And congratulations to all of you. You guys are making it through 2020. Can you believe that? Imagine all the people who are actually uh, making it through. That's awesome. Recommend more saws. 
Yeah, we could definitely do more saws as soon as we uh, get some other projects done. I, I'm going to have to hold off on like making materials at the moment until I know what's next. So right now, if we're going to make more of those saws, we'll have to use the grinder to do that. So maybe we can make some more blades. Those seem to be pretty good. Oh, we can actually make those pipes now. Uh, let's see. Let's let's actually make bronze pipes. Let's make like six of those to start. Or wait, did I put it in four? That'll be fine. So make four of those to start with. So I think we should make more bronze then? Let's check storage. 64 plus 46, okay. Yo, unknown with the 10. Thank you very much. Hashtag unknown. Thank you for the support. I'm going to just do a full fat stack of copper, or rather uh, bronze bars again. And over here, let's do... Wait, why does that bronze bar look silver? It's silver here, but green. That's weird. Wrong color, maybe? Oops. Oh, it's gray because we can't make it, that's why. Because we have insufficient copper ore. Alright, so now we gotta go mining again. So we can go mining tomorrow. Wait, we have 64. Oh no, that's uh, mud. I was looking at the wrong thing. Alright, so we're gonna have to go mining again. And we're gonna need to get more wood, too. And I think we need to chat with Emily, so that way we can, um... Figure out more about farming or whatever. At some point. Okay, so these boards will be ready in six hours, so we can go deliver those in the morning and then head into the mines. Wait, it's only like noon today. Everything's going. I think we just need to... I think we need more copper, so let's go find some wood. While we're waiting. Hardly any little trees to cut down. Uh, the middle part of the bridge requires five bronze plates and takes 21 bronze bars. Okay. Well, we're going to need that copper. we got to go to the mines again. But we also need some wood to fuel those furnaces then if we're going to get 21. 21? We just need four members? All right. We'll have a extra giveaway on the Discord if we get a few more members to join. Again, if you guys want access to uh, giveaways and such, make sure you become a member. Not only do you have a chance to win a giveaway today, but pretty much every day we stream, we're doing a couple of giveaways. So you might end up some support a channel that you're enjoying and get something in return. It's an investment. Bum, bum. Bum, bum. Maserath, becoming a raptor hatchling. Welcome aboard. Hashtag Maserath. Uh, this game is not multiplayer in vanilla, but apparently has a mod. Although I don't know, I don't know how I'd feel about that. I don't know. This game's good though. I really like this. Uh, can I get a one in chat if you like Stardew Valley? If you're a fan of Stardew Valley, or if you own it, or if you played it, if that's your type of game, if you like that jam, give me a one in chat. I'm curious to know. Well, they have a new uh, 1.5 update for Stardew Valley. If you haven't seen it yet, um, we're going to be covering that later today on the channel. Uh, we've already made it to the new, you know, quote-unquote secret island, and me and Thurston are going to play some more multiplayer, so... One's in chat if you're going to be in the next stream as well. And members, show me those beautiful golden ones, too. You guys are the number ones for your support, so thank you. Where 
an actual tree. Well, hopefully we can walk out of here with like close to 200 wood. We're getting pretty close. Yeah, this game is single player, but Stardew Valley is multiplayer. We're going to be playing that uh, multiplayer tonight. But this game is free right now. This game, which is my time at, uh, as I've been calling it, uh, Portia, or Portier, because it just sounds fancy, is uh, free on the Epic Game Store. Bum, 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 bum. We're just, we're barely even beginning this game. We've just built like a few smelters and that's about it. Thanks for telling me about the game. Absolutely. Well, it's a good one. I'm glad we tried this one free on Epic. I was wanting to get into this one for a while and I had it on my list and I was going to buy it on the Steam sale. But when I found out that Epic was giving it away, I was like, oh, well, I'll just do that then. This game's cool though. And they're making a sequel. All right, 171, that's not as close to 200 as I'd like. Let's go swing by here. Bum, bum, bum. Uh, 181, yeah. Well, close enough, let's go home. Well, there's a few more trees, actually. Ba -bum -ba -bum -ba -bum -bum. Yeah, we'll upgrade our tools soon. We just haven't had a chance to run into town. We've been so busy building all the uh, upgraded furnaces and getting production going. Once we chat with Mars, we'll upgrade our pickaxe and our axe. We'll probably do it after our limited time in the mines is over. Because we get a little bit of a discount. Henrik, thank you very much for becoming a Raptor Egg. Welcome aboard. Okay. Oh, we could eat a banana or something. Ah, eh, forget it. It's the end of the day. Let's go home. Hashtag Henrik in chat for the support. Thank you very much. Alright, let's jump into town. Or into the house, I guess. We'll have to check all the stuff before we go mining again. So we'll get all the factories and stuff working. All right, we're getting there. Can you buy clothes in this check? Can you like customize your character later with different outfits and things? Because I notice there's like gloves and stuff you can buy. Great. Okay, we want... Oh, actually, the basic skeever, skeever. So we want marble planks now too. Making th oh, one plank makes oh, three marble. Oh, you're looking to join. Excellent. Click or tap the join button next to the subscribe button now. Okay, let's go deliver the fence parts, and then we'll go mining. Where's the tree farm? So the tree farm is there.
Uh, tagline is Stardew Valley, not Portia. Did you read what it says? It's Stardew Valley like. So in other words, if you like Stardew Valley, maybe maybe you'd like to try this one out. Just trying to convey a look and a feel of the game. Kind of the same. You go mining in the caves, you talk to people in the town, you build relationships. You can buy and sell things to the to the town folk or complete quests uh, based on what their needs are. Pretty close. Oh, this box is full. Man, we need another one. Oh, well, the boxes linked resources to the forges, cutters, etc. If I build boxes in the house, will they link to the ones outside? I need to drop off building materials. Except I'll take that one. Oh, they link to the outside too, huh? Okay. Well, that's kind of helpful then. We don't have to carry everything in the inventory. Although I wish the uh, assembler would do that then. But that's fine. Okay, let's leave regular logs here. So we have, actually have 236. That's not that bad. But we need we need copper now. This will be ready in a few minutes. All right, time to go to the mines. And then we go to uh, turn in that quest. What a beautiful little town, though. Kind of wish we could, like, build our own town. But it's alright. We probably wouldn't be able to make it as beautiful. Ba-da-ba-ba-ba. KFC. Is anyone here going to pick up the KFC gaming console? There we go. Alright, well hopefully we get a lot of bronze. Or, uh, copper for bronze. This lasted us a real long time, too. So we to leveling up again. Oh, XP. Okay, we're almost halfway there. Got to get about ten thousand. Ba 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 ba. You need your KFC gaming console, yeah. I remember when KFC used to sell chicken and not mediocre chicken with the uh, memes. Okay, let's go find some more copper. What if there's relics nearby?
Okay, I want to try to leave with like close to 200. Wow, another leather sofa. You think Taco Bell's gonna make a gaming console? Oh, I wonder what that would be like. You know, actually, the the PlayStation 5 kind of looks like a taco. Uh, this game legs on your laptop. Thanks for playing this. Well, it is free on the Epic Game Store now. So if you need to, if you ever like made a refund of it or something, you can get a new PC or something for the holidays. Might be a good time to play this. Actually, it linked up really nicely uh, to the update for uh, Stardew Valley. The 1.5 update for Stardew Valley and this. It's really like, it's a nice mix. Like you can play both games and like, it's the same thing, but they're very different too. So it's like, it feels like a different game. Because in Stardew Valley, you can build uh, some pretty big bases and stuff too, like a giant farm. But this feels a little bit more like how I feel about Satisfactory, minus all the conveyors. But nothing on the scale of uh, fac Factorio. Okay, what I want to do now is try to get to 200, and then we got to go to the farm. So maybe we'll go to the farm now. We'll stop at 150. All right, that'll be all right for now. Okay. Make our way to the farm. Mark that. Oh, lots of little stone and stuff to break down. Oh, there's a way into the wasteland before you're able to get there? Okay. A, a secret way in? Outside the city walls? That's cool. Yeah, there are creatures to fight eventually, so there is combat. So then you can eventually make weapons and start fighting stuff. will be back in business in no time. Come on, Aidit. Let's get busy. Oh, 150 bucks. Nice. 500 XP. Good. So now we're about... Uh, oh, yeah. We're almost there. Almost to level 10. Yeah, let's go back home. You've been using the code Raptoria for all the epic games you buy? Well, that's good. Thank you for the support. Yeah, they've been having a pretty good sale going on. Same with Steam. So it's, you know, considering that things haven't gotten any better from the previous year, it might be a good idea to continue to invest in games. Wow, we haven't even gotten started with building the bridge. But I guess what's more important is getting the whole production chain up first, because if you don't do that, if you don't start production, you'll have nothing to bring the materials to. Okay, so what does this need again? The marble plank. We'll drop that off. Bronze pipes, which are there. Bom, 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 bom. Well, this thing looks prehistoric. Okay. Wow, it's a big old thing. Let's put it down here for now. Nope.
There, that'll do. Okay, fiber cloth, rope, quality leather, fur, cloth, waterproof cloth, fur, okay. So it's basically like a skinning station. You bought Flotsam because of me? That's a great game. Oh, it looks like we just need to build more stuff for the bridge. So let's try to make the first part of the bridge now. Oh, we still need more hardwood, though. Hmm. Well, it looks like we're going to need a lot of stone, too. So how's our stone count? 77, another 150. We're at 77, 152, 34. 34 is uh, stone, I think. All right, we're going to have to go mining for stone again. Down to the old stone mine. Okay, apparently we need copper plates, too, so let's check that real quick. How many of that do we need? We can start making this stuff. So it looks like we need five bronze plates and three copper pipes. So let's make a few of those. Man, only five bronze in storage. I think we should go for a full thing of more bronze. Otherwise, tin is pretty useless. Okay, let's go for a ton of bronze. We're just making one bronze plate. No, it takes five. We're going to make a max of five now. Okay, cool. And we'll leave that out here. So we have five bronze plates going. Glass, which will be done tomorrow. As well as most of the bronze. By the end of the day. Well, actually, this won't be done tomorrow. But bronze is very, 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 very slow. Very slow. Nice. All right, let's check wood storage. Oh, we have a bronze barn here. Good, more glass. A little bit of stone. Yeah, we're going to have to build another box outside. So let's go do that. Steel later on is even slower. Yeah, I'm assuming it balances pretty perfectly based on like what you need versus how long it takes to make it. Oh, Emily. I need to talk to you, ma'am. Hello. Hey, neighbor. Do you have a minute? I've been meaning to talk to you. Sure. What's up? I just got a new craft recipe all the way from Highwind. It's Macaroni and cheese? It's used to cultivate crops. People in Highwind have been using it for a while now, and supposedly it's great. Can you build it and test it out for me? If it works as advertised, I'll order a few more off of you. How about it? Thank you. Here's the craft recipe. Good. And here are a few seeds to plant. Oh. If you want more seeds, you can buy them from my granny's shop. Try growing them to maturity and show me the harvest. 
Good. Also, I have a tip for you. Using fertilizer will help increase the harvest. I'll give you some of that as well. Nice. Fertilizer and also farming now? Good. Oh, there. that's the stuff she wants us to start with. So she wants us to craft a small planter box. I guess it's an assembly area thing. Wait a minute. Okay, so we just need upgrade kits for that. Luckily, we're making more stone. Oh, actually, you know what I want? Is... Uh, do we have wood for this? Oh, yeah, that's right, because I don't have to carry this stuff on me. It'll just pull from the boxes automatically. That's so cool! Oh, there's a book. That's what it is. I need the I need the blueprint. That's what it is. Okay. So we got to right click on it to learn it. Yeah, let's see if we can make that real quick. Oh, okay. So we need feces. Wonderful. Wait. Wait, really? We can't just use... Smelly compound that can increase yield. So I guess we actually have to use that stuff. Oh well, that's fine. Uh, 21, 17. Yeah, we do it with the bronze plates. One out of five. Do I need to make anything else here at the... Hmm... Oh, we can make ammo here, too. Now we can start making guns. Which requires uh, gunpowder. Well, we might need copper pipes at some point. But, since copper is so rare, I think we'll just hold off. Bum, 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 bum. Okay, what can we build next? Stone furnace, grinders. I think we really should just start on the bridge. Glass seat, fiber cloth. Oh, easy easy to build a car, super easy. <laughs> Self-made barbecue, copper pipes times three and wood times 10. Oh, we need to make those pipes first. All right, let's hit the hay and we'll save. All right, guys, later today I'm coming back for uh, some wonderful Stardew Valley in multiplayer. So if you want to see that, make sure you go ahead and click or tap that uh, notification bell and turn it on to all. Uh, I'm going to take a break from this game for a while. This game's good. I like uh, my time at uh, Port Portia, Portier, I should say. Although it's uh, by Porsche or something. But anyway, this game available now on the Epic Game Store. Get it right now. If you wait a second, you're, you're not going to download it. it. It expires in like 24 hours, so make sure you uh, pick it up. And uh, give it a try. It's a lot of fun. So if you like Stardew Valley and don't have $9 to spend on that one, because uh, that's on sale now, you can get this game instead. All right, guys. I'll see you soon. Thank you very much for jumping in and hanging out with me. And I'll see you a little later for uh, more crafting, building, survival games. See you guys soon. Goodbye, everyone.